I'm no longer part of the Abrams, John Hassel and the Abrams. The lead guitar, we've got James Jeffers on the guitar. We've got Ellen on the bass and Jakob on the drums. Uh, April Rainers is actually, it comes from an old folk song called Green Road Rushes Over. And I remember my dad used to sing it to me. April, April Rainers. Uh, it's quite it's a bit weird. Did your dad used to sing it to you? Yeah, my dad used to sing it in the UK. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't get him to sleep. <laughs> It's quite, quite funny, we're all based in Denmark, I think I've got one. He's Norwegian, he's British, and we're both British. So it's kind of weird after after leaving a Brexit, after leaving Europe, we're, we're not really kicked out of the country. We haven't left yet. So, um, yeah, no, really, it's, it's a bit worrying with the Brexit thing. <laughs> Danish. He's the classic uh, refugee of Yeah, I'm the same as well. Um, I have a, a Danish wife who, uh, who coaxed me over. And uh, I, I, it's the same story with quite a lot of English people who live in Denmark. There's, uh, there's always a woman involved. I mean, it's a great country to live in. You know, it's got it's such a great, um, it's, quite, it's quite a socialist out there. Everyone's paying a little tax, but you're getting a great system back. You're getting really good services, you're getting good education, good healthcare. I think we could learn a lot in, uh, in the UK from that. Shit. Album. We've just done an album which is coming out in November, and uh, I've written most of the songs. I've written a few songs together with a poet guy called Steve, Steve Burgess. Um, James has got a song, Jakob's got a song. So it's a bit of, bit of different things, different combinations and stuff. So it's, uh, but yeah. in this one, I've done most of the, most of the writing. Just Yeah, we haven't done much actually. <laughs> We're a bit lazy now. Now we've done uh, we've, we've done a few gigs in in Denmark, and we've done a few here. But uh, we're going to be doing a tour to promote the album coming out in November. We supported Peter a few months ago. That was good fun. Yeah, that was really great. Our biggest audience so far. Yeah. And the audience tonight was really great. Amazing audience. So uh, yeah, at the moment, the UK is definitely leading. The, way. the Japanese are very respectful. Is that true, John? It's a logical kind of curve, really, isn't it? Denmark. Yeah, North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> North Japan. Chad. Um, <laughs> Cambodia. The whole shebang. <laughs> I haven't seen any bands myself, I've only seen the uh, last good concert I went to was with the teams. Yeah. Himself? Yeah. I, I saw Paul McCartney a few months ago, and that was... That, that was cut, really... cut against that, isn't it? Yeah. Well, you know what? You know what, the guy The guy is like a thousand years old, and he still cuts the mustard, so I don't care. Uh, he's, yeah. he's wicked. But yeah, McCartney doesn't really get much better than that, yeah. for me. Uh, I have a CD sound system. 
Oh, yeah. Where's Where's you you go? Go? Rust. Oh, Mr. Oh, my God. The album is called Wheels to Idyll. A lot of the album is written about um, when I was a kid going down to my granny in the countryside. It doesn't sound very rock and roll, but uh, there you have it. There's some good tunes in it. And um, we're super excited for people to hear the album because we, I mean, we think it's amazing. And we would do, otherwise, there's no point in doing it. But yeah, we're very happy with the album.